back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my stockpile tour. This might be a little bit shaky because I have my daughter in my arms currently. So I keep my stockpile upstairs in a storage part of our house. So there's ugly floors up here, but it works great for my stockpile. Now I don't have a ton of stuff, but we're only a three person household and one of us is only six months old. So this works for us. I did want to add, I have been couponing since about October of 2018. I got my first inserts at the end of September, but I didn't actually start couponing until like October. So everything you're seeing, well, most of what you're seeing is from October until So on this top shelf up here, I have some laundry items. And then I also have some air fresheners up here. Moving down to the next shelf, I have all my fabric softeners. My favorite is Gain, so that's what I have the most of. I really like that downy too, though. Then I have some fabric softeners for my daughter's clothes. Down here, I have some liquid detergents. So all the liquid detergents that me and my husband use. And then I have the all free and clear for my daughter. On the bottom shelf, I have some bleach and then a big jug of the sun laundry detergent. So over here to the right of that shelf, I have a whole bunch of diapers. These are diapers that my daughter already grew out of. And most of these are not from couponing, but I just keep them up here anyways. Okay, moving on to the next shelf. On the top shelf, I have feminine care products. So I have a whole bunch of pads, a bunch of liners, and then some tampons. These drawers right here have medicine in them. And then on top, I have a bowl with some makeup things in there. So let me pull this out and show you what I got in it. So in this top drawer, I have some Excedrin, Motrin, and then some Tylenol for my daughter. The second drawer has like cold and flu stuff and then some Thermacare back there. And then the bottom drawer is full of vitamins. Like if you need vitamins, I got you. So the next shelf has body wash, face stuff, lotion, shaving gel. The next shelf is hair care items, and then I have some Summer's Eve wipes that didn't fit up on the top shelf. So you are not seeing anything for my husband here because he has a very sensitive scalp and has to use higher end products. Okay, I am a hairstylist and hairstylist friends do not come for me, but this L'Oreal is bomb. I promise it is so good. I will use the Tresemme if I don't have the L'Oreal, but... Come on, the L'Oreal is life, I promise. Like, you should really try it. In this little box, I have some of the L'Oreal L5 oil, a little travel size conditioner back there, and one of those L'Oreal hair masks. On the bottom shelf, I have all my dish soaps, and then I have these Febreze odor eliminators. I really like those. So over here, I have all of our deodorants. I just keep them in these little bins. So my husband's and mine. The next shelf is baby items. I have a bunch of these Suave Kids shampoo, some Fuzzy Duck, some Johnson's Creamy Baby Oil, and then a bunch of those Johnson's Tiny Travelers. And this is what I use on my daughter. I don't use like lotion and stuff. I just use the coconut oil. I love that Shea Moisture stuff. This is my oral care shelf. I have a ton of mouthwash. I have a decent amount of toothpaste, I feel like. There's only two of us using it currently, so we don't go through it that fast. I do like to keep it organized by the expiration date, so we pull the oldest stuff from the top and use that before it expires okay so on the other wall I have my toilet paper over here my sad little toilet paper stash and then all my paper towels I'm pretty happy with my paper towel stockpile right now because we don't go through that many paper towels I feel like this will last us quite a while over here I have my pods so I have some gain flings tied pods Priscilla tied simply pods all in there and they go pretty far back down here I have this little basket of candles. I have some Bath and Body Works candles, candles I made, and some from the Dollar Tree. All right, over to this corner. On this top shelf I have some light bulbs, some sandwich bags, slow cooker liners. Down here I have some finish and some Swiffer dry pads. There's nothing down here on the bottom shelf. That's where I'm gonna put my trash bags when I can get a good deal on some. Up here, I have some Viva pop-ups and some flushable wipes. I would like to have a lot more of those flushable wipes because we do use those quite a bit. This shelf is my hand soap. I didn't get to stock up on Bath & Body Works hand soaps this past hand soap sale, so it's looking pretty sad. Down here, I have some bathroom cleaning products. So I have the toilet bowl cleaner, the polydent I use in my toilet, and then I really like that Lysol cleaner. The bottom shelf has some carpet cleaner, Drano, Fabuloso, and then cat litter deodorizer. I don't have a cat though. Now, moving on to my pegboard. My pegboard is not on the wall. It's just leaning up against the wall, which is probably kind of dangerous. 
So up top I have some Cetaphil wipes, V hand sanitizer, and then some makeup. I have the Neutrogena masks, Listerine ready tabs. I have a whole bunch of razors. Like you should never pay for razors, honestly. Oral care items, so some floss, floss picks, toothbrushes. Down here I have my Febreze plugs and then some car smelly good things. More Febreze plugs and Airwick scented oil warmers. I have some batteries, lighters, and pens. And then right here, I just have those armor all kits that we got from My Points and Swagbucks. So that's everything for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see y'all in my next video. Thank you.